Hey everyone, it's the real canine here. Welcome back for more Disguy 3, Absence of Detention. In the last episode, we got the uh, incredibly dark human world ending, and I need to lower my volume a bit. There we go. In this episode, you will see that I have leveled up uh, Saitama and Mao a little bit. That is because uh, I went through the story one last time on max enemy difficulty in order to uh, get them prepared for the next story. And in this episode, we are going to be finishing off with a bang. We are going to do Last Battle with a level 500 Mao. This shouldn't be too hard, I mean, uh... You are level 490, which is pretty dang powerful, but, uh... Don't mess you up. Not necessarily something to write home about. And I can kind of, uh, take out your dudes there, no problem. Scatter his flowers! <laughs> Okay, you actually are able to damage me a little bit. Let's infinite graves. Just to take his HP down a little bit on the even turn, since I can. Mach plus slice. And then we will finish him off with a, uh, with another Infinite Graves. Don't mess you up. That still wasn't enough to finish him off. <laughs> Go figure. Justice. This will be, though. Justice. Oh. Really? Oh, right, it's an odd turn. <laughs> Serious series. Serious punch. Yeah, he was no match for us. Ooh, Astralord, not bad. Okay, let's see the ending. <laughs> Perfect. Now, do the final blow. No, I won't kill you. What? I killed your father. Exact your revenge. Have you become so gutless? Gutless? Possibly. There was a time I wouldn't have hesitated for a second to kill you. Like the last ending we did? But you see, I don't know why, but my thick, dark, burning hatred for you seems to have disappeared. Now, you've matured. That voice, Dad? Superhero Aura is already dead. I died? That's right. You shall be reborn as just normal Aura from now on. What? And now? Yeah, Dad? The next Overlord. Is you, Mao. <laughs> Goodbye, my son. I can die happy now. I have no regrets. Dad! He never did have a grudge against you, Mao. Even after he died, he was worried about your growth, and that's why he couldn't pass on. 
and you didn't even notice the love? Now you really are a nut brain. Dad, the strongest, greatest, supreme overlord. <laughs> Demons and their nonsense. Huh? A little soft-hearted kid, now claiming to be the overlord? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. And then, telling me to be reborn. Am I to show off my embarrassing life? If I'm going to have to be kept alive by you, weaklings, I'd rather kill myself. You know, you were with Mao for so long. Don't you feel any emotions about this? Don't you don't feel any emotions about this? Uh, way to go, guys. <laughs> what? Yeah, even I changed being with Mal. And that was such a short time, too. There should have been some changes in your heart. I mean, you were with him for hundreds of years. You want me to change my understanding of demons, like you did? <laughs> That's impossible. To me, a demon is only an opponent to fight. But Sir Mal was raised by you, pretending to be Jeffrey. He's a little twisted, but he's a good boy. If he were just an opponent, I doubt he'd have turned out like this. Oh, wait a minute. I'm not a good boy. Overlord Mao. An overlord I raised. Um, this is what I think. This castle is too big for Mao to live alone in. Hmm. The job of overlord does require people to support him. I'm sure Mao's scared as hell suddenly having to be the Overlord. Someone's got to support him, right? Barrel, you sly dog, you. You're just trying to get close to Mao. Who are you calling scared? I could do the Overlord's job all by myself! First off, there's servant printies in the castles. It's not too big for me alone, and there's no inconvenience! Though, now that I think of it, the path I took to becoming an ideal overlord is still long. For me to become a greater overlord than my dad, I might need an evil and skilled butler. <laughs> I see. Either way, I dance on the palm of the Overlord. I can't seem to resist my destiny. Fine then. Until my life ends, I'll keep playing the butler for you. Now, Jeffrey, I'm ready for my task as Overlord. What should I begin with? <laughs> Leave it to Jeffrey, young master. I thought this might happen, so... Thus, the status quo is restored. <laughs> Happy ending for everyone! Maybe. So yeah, with all of our endings out of the way, besides the, uh, besides the side story endings, we can now officially move on to the post-game. I am probably going to re-recruit everybody off-screen, uh, I might reincarnate my characters once and level them up to, like, 600-something. Uh, just so I can be sure that they are ready to take on the story. But yeah, it is such a relief to have the main story finally done. 
that for a while there, I was that having to go at a rate of, like, going entirely through the story, like, once a day, just to get a new ending recorded each day. Why do all the endings have to be at the very end of the game? I mean, that sounds like a really dumb question, but it's not. I feel like it's a lot more balanced when the uh, when the silly bad endings are spread all throughout the game. Like I want to say they're like that in uh, Disgaea 4, where it, you lose to each of the rivals once and it gets you a different bad ending each time, and they they're scattered throughout the first half of the game too. And then I think there was one in the last, like, four chapters, too, but I don't remember off the top of my head. Which is odd, because I just read the uh, TV Tropes article on the game, like, this morning. And I'm already forgetting about it, because I'm so focused on Disgaea 3. <laughs> Man. I have no idea when my grand Let's Play quest of the Disgaea series is going to end. My earliest estimate would have to be, like, 2018 or 2019, which I'm okay with that. I love this series enough to be totally willing to play all the way through it. It's just a matter of how long it takes me and whether I fall out of the mood from time to time like I did earlier this year. Or it's a matter of, you know, my equipment breaking and stuff. I can't really help that when it happens. But the stuff I have now is really good, and I'm hoping I'll be set with it for a really long time, hopefully. Oh hey, the song ended and the credits ended while I was rambling. That's a first. <laughs> Usually it doesn't happen like that. What are the odds? I actually had a lot to say this time. And that's how my story. We've Afterwards, seen Salvatore this. the Master Big Star, Mr. Champloo cooked up. I wonder who he. Mal soon ripped. He seemed kind of proud about being respected by the students who had awakened. After seeing Mal take the throne as over, upon returning to the human world. Let there be marriage. <laughs> I still say they look adorable together, especially Almas. Look at that big smile, he's so happy. Continue on, just in case uh, my recording got corrupted He's again. To Evil Academy, but only lasted hey there, for a Edna. fleeting moment before a new terror struck the school. Uh, what? I thought the story ended. Overlord now the new dean. Yeah, we've seen this already. There there is not much need for this. <laughs> All right. And that was something anyway. And if we go into the data shop here, we can see that we have every ending except this last one here which uh I have reason to believe comes from one of the side stories. So, that being said, thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys next time with... Legend of the Super Delinquent. See you guys then.